images of a daily diet of violence in Ukraine, chaos and carnage spilling onto the streets in Kiev. Now artists in the country are spilling their souls onto canvas to paint their stories of conflict. Some set up temporary studios at the center of the protests in Independent Square to capture each historic moment in their art. Marina Soshenko is one of them. Protesting and painting has filled her days. Sometimes she has done both at the same time. Her subjects used to be flowers, but after taking part in a protest with her son, her art changed. She became obsessed with capturing every aspect of the revolution. This is what an artist should do. You have to paint what touches you, and then it's going to touch other people. At the height of the protests, a group called the Maidan Artists was set up. Tanya Cheprazova, an artist and teacher at the Ukrainian Art Academy, spent most of the winter painting and protesting. She worked on canvas and has also painted the helmets used by protesters in their battles with the police. I want to show that there is not only war, but there is also beauty left in things after the revolution. At the National Art Museum in Ukraine, the R Evolution exhibition shows collages made by French photographer Eric Bouvet. Bouvet took three trips to Kiev during the months of protests. His pictures depict the mayhem, the chaos, but also regular life in the times of revolution. Art is in the political sphere, and especially contemporary art, so well, we cannot be apart from what has happened. In Independence Square, dozens of memorials have been set up for the protesters who died in battles with the police. History will judge the events of Independence Square and beyond in Ukraine, but when the wounds have healed, the names of the dead forgotten, and the conflict discussed in history classes, it is the art which will remain.